Coming up in this week's spectacular episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show, exciting news from Disneyland Paris as they announced the fantastic new additions for the park's 25th anniversary. Along with talking all about that, we've got some brilliant news from Liseberg Amusement Park in Sweden as they announced their 2017 and 2018 new additions. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. As always, a very warm welcome to this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Of course, it is the main Halloween week. A lot of you are going out there to do different events. Uh, so make sure you comment below. Let me know where you're going for Halloween. Of course, the main Halloween night, the 31st of October, is on a Monday this year. It's Monday coming up. So let me know where you're going. Me, personally, I'm going to be at work. But uh, I hope you all have a fantastic time, no matter where you're going this week throughout Halloween. And I've been getting a lot of Facebook messages of people saying they've been going to Halloween attractions and tweets coming in so make sure you keep sharing that uh, with us guys we love seeing what you guys are up to for Halloween talking about our vlogs of course on the channel and how much of a busy time it is obviously uh, I do work a lot of this time of year uh, I work long hours at Alton Towers over Scarefest as I'm sure a lot of you know uh, so I am working as fast as I can to get the vlogs online for you guys we've got four Disney vlogs all to come online uh, before this weekend so I hope you do enjoy those I've been working so hard in my spare time to get the content out there uh, as fast as I can do at the end of the day, I'd much rather spend a little bit longer editing a vlog and making sure the quality of it is fantastic and getting it on there for you guys than rushing to get it edited and upload it really, really quick. So I'd much rather the quality be there uh, and get those online for you guys. So all your different Disney vlogs, four different ones to come, following on from our Magic Kingdom vlog, what was it went online the other night, uh, will all be on before the weekend. Following on from that, all our Halloween vlogs, Alton Towers Scarefest, brilliant event this year. I've been going to Scarefest since 2007. This year is by far the best event, topping last year, so make sure you check that out for when me and Charlotte had down there, we had a brilliant day, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the vlog that we uh, did for you guys. Along with that, the Extreme Screen Park, uh, me and Jack went down to check that out, and we absolutely loved it. Some of the best scare attractions I've ever done. Uh, a small park called Twin Lakes, just in Melton Mowbray. Uh, never actually done the Halloween there before. I went a few years ago to do the actual park, uh, and it was great. A really good Halloween event. That came in just second, just after Scarefest. So, like I say, lots of vlogs to come online, Thought Park Friday Nights, a Screen Fest, Burton Behind the Scenes vlog, loads to come all online this week. Literally, I've been working so hard to get these online for you guys. I know a lot of you out there really want to see these vlogs, and they really are some of the best vlogs I've ever done on the channel, so I hope you really enjoy them, and I'm sure you'll all sort of appreciate the sort of extra details, things that have been put into them. I'd much rather, like I say, take the time to edit them and put them online uh, as soon as I can do than sort of rush to get it on there and put it on straight away. So thank you very much for bearing with me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, there's some really good Halloween content to come over the next couple of weeks here on the channel. Moving on then, some really, really good park announcements. Let's kick straight in with the news this week in Screams on the Rails. <laughs> Now, Leesburg, located in Gothenburg, Sweden, is a fantastic park that I absolutely love. I first heard about it many years ago uh, when I was doing a bit of research on theme parks in the area. Heard about Balda, which is their wooden roller coaster that they've got. Fantastic ride. I didn't really go to the park. I, I, you know, I wanted to go and see it, but it was never a priority until Helix was announced. I was there on Helix opening day, the big double launch map mega coaster, and what a ride that is. My number two coaster sits out there at Leesburg. It's an absolutely gorgeous beautiful coaster uh, yeah it really is a fantastic ride and there you go it's worth getting out there to go and ride it if you can do Things are about to get even more exciting over at Leesburg. Now, of course, a couple of years ago, straight after they put in Helix, they put in Mechanica, uh, which is the Aero Star shape. They then put in uh, another ride last year, another flat ride, uh, Aero Spin, and it's a whole mini area at the top of the Leesburg Hill. If you've ever been to the park, it's all sort of on a bit of an incline on a hill. It's absolutely stunning. So they put in Aero Spin, pretty much the same as Sky Force at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, which they put in there, which is a Gerslauer uh, Sky Roller. So anyway, they put that in 
uh, you know, a good addition to the park. And then for next year, they're putting in another flat ride, an Intamin Gyro Swing, pretty much Maelstrom, but they've got it at Drayton Manor. However, this is a bit of a bigger version. That's going to be going in at the park, and I can't wait to get out there next year and try this. We're going to be out there at Lee's Bird to go and give this a ride, along with following the construction of that other big new ride. Now, Leesburg are amazing with the fans. They really do like to release stuff and make sure it's a big deal of new investments. And that's what they've done. They've released a video both in Swedish and in English as well on their official YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check that out. Uh, and they've actually announced on there both new attractions, the, the gyro swing for next year, following into 2018, and a B&M dive coaster. But not just any dive coaster. Europe's longest dive coaster, uh, which is going to be quite... Well, you've got the flat ride, which is going to be called Loki. As you know, I'm absolutely awful at pronouncing things, so I do apologise. The flat ride Loki and the dive coast are something along the lines of uh, Valkyrie or something like that. I mean, it's spelled V A L K Y R I A. So make of it what you want to. It's in the description as well. But uh, yeah, there you go. However you want to pronounce it. Um, of course, manufactured by BM, Bodger and Mabillard. Uh, they do some fantastic coasters uh, such as Oblivion, Alton Towers, and yeah, they do dive coasters, the inverted coasters, flying coasters, wing coasters. Uh, they do some great stuff, BM, and it's good to see Leesburg going in with that manufacturer I mean they've already got Mac uh, let's get it that in there you know so it's really exciting to see they've got my two favorite manufacturers uh, a nice Mac mega coaster and of course a, a B&M dive coaster going in as well so that's going to open in 2018 this is all part of one big new themed area which is going in based on myths and legends so I'm sure the theming will be quite interesting I mean I've got a couple of images just here from what we're going to be expecting uh, there's some of the flat ride of Loki uh, and then another couple of images scrolling past just there, the dive coaster. I mean, really exciting times for Leesburg. Uh, of course, it's going to be around 700 metres long. It's got a height of 47 metres. Uh, the drop itself is going to be 50 metres, including the underground section, which is going to be cool. Look forward to that. Uh, a max speed of 105 kilometres per hour. It's going to have a reasonably good capacity. Three trains, each one with 18 passengers. So I'd say we're going to be, well, we're going to be looking at three rows of six, uh, which will be interesting to see as well. And a capacity of around 1,100 riders an hour. Really good to see this going in for the part though. I mean, Leesburg's a brilliant part that I really appreciate. And at the end of the day, it's managed by Andreas, who is an enthusiast himself. So there you go. Leesburg's the part to watch over the next couple of years. We are going to lose the Intamin launch coaster though, which is Canonan. That's going to be shut in at some point next year. They haven't confirmed the actual time. There's rumours going around when it's going to be, but they have said Canonan uh, is going to close because that whole, the expansion is going to go all around to the side of Balder and all around where some old warehouses were and stuff around the back of the park. So yeah, it's going to be good and a lot forward to getting out there next year, getting back on Helix, um, seeing Aero spinning stuff for the first time, and of course, uh, getting on the new attraction and watching this beautiful B&M coaster being built. So there we go, two trips to Leesburg over the next couple of years. Uh, it's going to be good to go and see. Another big part for me, Disneyland Paris. I first went there as a kid. I absolutely love the place. And of course, they've announced their 25th anniversary celebrations. They released a concept image actually a few months ago uh, about sort of revealing the theme and it was going to have a bit of a different style to what they've done before. If you remember the 20th anniversary, it was quite gold, it was quite big, it was quite, you know, out there. This seems a bit more subtle, a bit more like Disneyland's 60th diamond celebrations. Uh, like you've got the silver logo there and a bit more sort of toned down, which I quite like actually. I think it's going to be a really, really special uh, anniversary for the park, this one. What have we got then in terms of new additions for this? Of course, we're going to be having lots of decorations around the park, but what else are we going to have for the, uh, for the 20th anniversary? Uh, we, of course, we have Disney Dreams, the nighttime spectacular. Disney Dreams is actually closing, which is interesting to see. There's no confirmed date just yet. However, it's believed it could be around January 2017 to make way for the anniversary, which is going to start on March the 26th. The date for your diary, March the 26th, 2017. Uh, what we're going to be seeing is Star Tours, the adventures continue. Of course, it's the only remaining Star Tours at the Disney Park to have not been upgraded to have the new uh, journeys to go to instead of just Endor and of course having the 3D on there as well so that is coming and it's going to open that day uh, Disney Stars on Parade now this is going to be the big new parade to replace Magic on Parade the past sort of couple of parades at Disneyland Paris I've not been a massive fan of I used to love Once Upon a Dream Parade and I just think the fact they've not really had the audio on each float it's more been one big soundtrack playing throughout the whole thing it's kind of sport it a little bit I mean when you go out to Florida to the Magic Kingdom and where you go to Disneyland in California and I'm sure the Asia parks as well uh, you know you get all your individual music on the floats and when you've got Anna and Elsa coming past on the frozen float it's just a really special experience to hear that 
individual soundtrack to each float so that'll be interesting to see we've got the starlit princess walls which is going to be on the castle stage Disneyland Paris has got a gorgeous castle uh, you know and of course we've got the stage just round to the side of it as well so we're going to be seeing this new princess show on there and of course the main thing for me Disney Illuminations the replacement nighttime spectacular to my beloved Disney dreams I love that show I've seen it over 30 times over the years and it's a shame to see it going it's a shame to see I won't actually see that again before it ends but it's come as a bit of a surprise. I was expecting more upgrades to the show instead of completely changing it. So who knows what's going to happen. Is there going to be more fire, more water fountains? Of course, projection mapping on the castle. Are they going to projection map all down Main Street like they did in California? Who knows what's going to happen, but I look forward to following it, of course, with Disney Illuminations. Also coming a little bit later in 2017. They've not really gave us a date with this yet, but Hyperspace Mountain. So Space Mountain Mission 2 is going to be having an upgrade, so to speak, an overlay of Hyperspace Space Mountain. It's believed it will be a temporary overlay, probably just for the anniversary, uh, but it would be good to sort of launch along with the revamped Star Tours, the adventures continue. So it's going to be great times over at Disneyland Paris and something I look forward to covering here on the channel. We've got so much exciting stuff going on in 2017. Of course, we're going to be watching the construction of uh, two, well, construction 2018 uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach here in the UK. SW8 is going to be going up at Alton Tower, so we'll be following the construction of that. And we're getting out to the opening uh, of the brand new Ferrari Land over at Port Ventura. We've got the anniversary at Disneyland Paris, back over to Leesburg, along with some other really good trips to come next year. So, really exciting year for us here at Theme Park Worldwide in 2017. And look forward to sharing loads of exciting content for you guys here on the channel. So it is time for Mystery Merchandise. Of course, we did have our Thought Park Friday Nights event a couple of weeks ago. Thank you very much to everyone that came out to Thought Park and braved the rain. I mean, the weather was quite poor at the start of the day, but literally we had over 90 people attending the end, so it was a fantastic day. And thank you very much to each and every one of you that came and supported Theme Park Worldwide and had a great day with us at Thought Park Friday Nights. Also at Friday Nights, I picked up this little item just here uh, for this week's Mystery Merchandise. Little Friday Nights mug. I mean, it's not a 3D one. It's nothing too special. Uh, well, I'll show you a little bit closer. There you go, Friday Nights. And it's got the 15 Years of Fear on there as well, the 15 Years of Fear stamp. Of course, 15 years Friday Nights been going for, and every week they've been sort of bringing out different characters from some of their favourite attractions over the years. Me, personally, uh, I miss Experiment 10. I thought that was really unique, you getting locked into like your own cabinet and the scares coming from all around. It was fantastic, but uh, yeah, nice little mug to sort of commemorate that. If you've got any fantastic merchandise, make sure you send it into our Interact section of the show. Details on that can be found later on in this week's episode. So, the killer has been revealed. This is how it was done. Alex, Jack, Harry and I were driving through Utoxeta, finishing Theme Park Worldwide's vlog from Drayton Manor. I decided the group should visit Weatherspoons, where Caitlin and Lee were to join later on, but they were delayed due to traffic. I received a call from an unknown number, which required me to leave the table and move outside. What I didn't know was that Harry had asked Chris to call me regarding a serious issue with our up-and-coming Florida trip, which Chris had previously mentioned to Harry. This was acted as a plot to get me away from the others. As Chris often does, he kept me talking for quite some time, but due to Yatoxita's phone signal and the rainstorm over the town, I decided to move further down the street to talk to him. After I'd been gone for a while, Alex began to get rather concerned about my whereabouts, so Harry suggested that the group split up and look for me. This was because Alex was trying to suggest that they look for me together, which would have foiled his plans for my murder. Jack decided to check the Weatherspoon's toilets to see if I'd just gone to get some peace and quiet away from the group. In the meantime, Alex went towards the back alleys of Utoxter's housing estates to see if I was around and safe. Harry went down a back alley called Old Saddler's Yard and was seen to be moving bags around. This could have been him rooting around my murder weapon. In actual fact, this was him just tying his shoelace yet again, despite previously mentioning him about him tying his laces many times throughout the day. This was so Harry was able to make a quick escape from the scene before returning when Alex and Jack found my body on the floor. Before this took place, Harry was hiding the gun in some shrubbery in the town centre, before locating myself using an app. This is how the shooting took place. 
Shortly after Harry had shot me, he ran away from the scene. Before hearing Caitlin and Lee's voice around the corner, he quickly hid out of sight. Lee and Caitlin discovered my body first, and Caitlin ran away in tears, to which Lee shortly followed her and made a phone call to Joe, as Alex's phone was going straight to voicemail. Joe had been spending the previous weeks living in Etoxeter, with his parents working in one of the shops above where I was killed. Once Lee and Caitlin had moved away from the scene, Alex and Harry shortly arrived to discover my body. Alex, clearly upset, ran to check my pulse, with Jack arriving moments later. What you may or may not have realised is that Jack had been working undercover for the Etoxta police force for the last 18 months. However, he refused to continue working undercover after discovering vital evidence that Harry was angry at me. This was because I told him I no longer needed a merchandise coordinator, meaning he felt pushed aside and that the other vlog stars were taking the spotlight. He needed to stop this from happening. A text message sent from Alex's phone said that I'd better get right in my will, when in actual fact it was sent by Harry whilst Alex was driving us all back from Drayton Manor. I ignored it and took this as a joke. What nobody realised is that Jack saw Harry send this message, to which he later traced when the suspects handed in their possessions. Harry is now to serve the next 16 years behind bars after further court hearings. <laughs> So there we go. That is how Harry committed the crime. Thank you to everyone that got involved. Of course, I did ask you all to hashtag in and just have a bit of fun with us here at Theme Park Worldwide. I mean, uh, you know, we listen to you guys all the time and you really wanted us to make more of a big thing of that Halloween intro. So we did. We spread out over the month. We made it interactive. Uh, so thank you to everyone that used the hashtags down below and over on Twitter and Facebook. And yeah, it was just really good to watch. Like I say, two people have won a TPW goodie bag. They're going to be on the way out to you. It's Jake Marnie and Emma. Evans. So congratulations to you guys. Goodie bags will be on the way. So just send us a message uh, here on YouTube or tweet us or on Facebook or something on those lines. Let us know uh, your contact details and we'll get them sent out to you guys. Thank you to each and every one of you that got involved with us here at Theme Park Worldwide over Halloween. It was absolutely great and I hope you go on to enjoy Halloween night itself this following Monday. In terms of Theme Park Worldwide in the future, I think this sort of leads on for me to talk a little bit about that. Of course, we've got Theme Park Worldwide, the show, which is going to continue continue every Wednesday all throughout winter. So Blackpool Pleasure Beach opens again in February. We've got the construction updates going on and at the end of the day I want you guys to feel really involved with the channel all throughout winter as well. We'll even put a little Christmas tree up here, maybe do something like Sean's Bauble of the Week or something along those lines and just make it really interactive throughout winter. Of course bringing you even more theme park news, our interactive sections and making it a little bit more festive as well. So that's what's going to carry on throughout winter. Vlog Mail and Vlog Star Monthly are two things which have now ended. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Vlogmail whilst we had it on the channel throughout 2016 and of course we did bring three episodes of Vlogstar monthly to the channel uh, as we move towards the later part of 2016. After careful consideration about the future of Theme Park Worldwide and where we want the channel to go, uh, that is something which is now going to end here on the channel but I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking part uh, if you did email in uh, to the channel to any of the Vlogstars and of course uh, to Vlogstar monthly as well. That's something that we really enjoy bringing uh, as we love to keep the channel interactive but we've got some really good exciting new things we want to bring to the channel uh, and the sort of bit of a different approach you want to take with that in the future so thank you to everyone that uh, interacted with that section and got involved with us uh, but like I say keep sending you things in for interact with me our final section of the show if you have pictures with anyone you've seen in there any friends of the channel or yeah it's just great to see you guys really getting involved with us so thank you very much that got involved with them two sections uh, throughout 2016 here on the channel Exciting times ahead. Two brand new series set to launch here on the channel this winter. We've got two Let's Play series starting up. Uh, we've got Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is going to be back. Of course, we had it last winter, so we're going to bring that series back, and it's going to be absolutely awesome. So I can't wait to share a brand new series of that with you guys. Now, Planet Coaster is something that I've also been playing a lot of lately, and I can't wait to bring a Let's Play Planet Coaster series to the channel starting this November next month. Uh, so keep an eye out for that all on our Twitter and Facebook pages. 
Uh, you know, we're going to be announcing that, the date that's going to launch here on our YouTube channel. Planet Coast is going to be a massive sensation in the theme park industry. How awesome does it look? And I can't wait to uh, play that and do some Let's Play episodes with you guys, along with friends of Theme Park Worldwide as well. who will come along uh, from the videos and we'll do some uh, Let's Play uh, Planet Coast. So it's going to be really, really good and I can't wait to share that with you guys. Some really exciting content to come here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, the Theme Park Worldwide shop is now also back open as well. If you do want to purchase your Theme Park Worldwide lanyards and pin badges you now can do please email us it's shop at themeparkworldwide.co.uk that's shop at themeparkworldwide.co.uk you can also order your screen part worldwide a limited edition pin badges which are available there as well for just three pounds so all you need to do is email in for more information and then we'll get them sent out to you guys Oh, there we go. So some really exciting content to take you through winter 2016 and into the 2017 season here on Theme Park Worldwide. Time for our final section of the show then this week. It's Interact with the Dead. Ooh, what have we got then this week? First off, you've got Mickey on the log flume at Southport. So thank you for sharing your photo. Next up, you've got Sky on the Smiler at Alton Tower. So thanks for sharing that with me, Sky. you then got Ben also on the Smiler. Thank you for that. Smiler, very popular this week. Next up, you've got Michael, uh, his daughter outside Freak Show Scare Zone at Alton Towers Scare Fest. Hope you're having a good Halloween and enjoy it on Monday night. Uh, Edward's got his children outside Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Love Valhalla. Ooh, wetter than ever before. So thank you very much for sharing your photo. And then got Erin uh, with a stealth on-ride photo just there as well. And then got Lisa at Pleasure Beach. So thank you very much for sending your photo there, Lisa. Felix on the log flume at Pleasure Beach Great Yarmouth. So thank you very much for sending in that one for us here at the show. Lots of people have had photos with me over the past couple of weeks. First off, you've got Emily just there. Next up, you've then got Louise. Great to see you. And then got Emma and Dennis with me just there as well. Moving on from that, you've got Alfie with myself and Harry Turnstiles himself. There he is, the man, the legend. It's Harry Turnstiles. So thanks for sending in your photo. And finally, you've got George also there with me. Make sure if you do see me or any of the other friends of Theme Park Worldwide, make sure you stop us for a photo and you can send it in here for us on the show. Uh, next up, you've got a bit of merchandise. You've got Ryan with his fantastic merchandise collection. Thanks for sharing that with us here, Ryan. And also you've got Fabio uh, with a pen collection just there as well. Big, big happy birthdays from us here at Theme Park Worldwide to Harley and Willow and also to Lisa. Happy birthday to you from us here at Theme Park Worldwide. That does not have enough syllables in it, does it? Uh, thank you very much for watching this week's episode of the show. If you want any birthday shout-outs, any special shout-outs, or if you've got any photos, send them in. It's interact at themeparkworldwide.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Screen Park Worldwide, the show. Thank you very much for your continued support. And of course, happy Halloween to each and every one of you out there. Get out there, get some scares, and I'll see you in next week's episode of the show. Thank you very much for watching, and that means it's time to spook those credits. Bye, guys.